feeling like a beer. A cute little amulet of a, I guess, a, looks like a, kind of like Capricorn. Yeah. This is called Celebrator uh, Doppelbach. Finest Bavarian Doppelbach beer. Looking forward to it. Somehow I was picturing something lighter. Oh well. I guess I should have looked closer at the label. That's not light. I just tried attempting to do something new once in a while. So, we're up to chapter 21 of Nephi. Thinking I, I might just try to blast through two or three of these. They're short. Depends on how much I start rambling and ranting. <laughs> no guarantees. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Would that be an odd of rod of iron? And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of of the Lord. Most important of all, fear your bully. <coughs> and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. Yeah. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, <laughs> neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with e uh, equ equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked, and the righteous righteous shall be girt up, and the right and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed and the young one shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Yeah, and cats will give dog birth to dogs, and all kinds of nonsense is going to start happening. According to this, yeah. And a little child shall lead them. Oh wait, oh yeah. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp. And the wean child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. So he's going to start messing with a mythical animal. 
dangerous mythical animal if if you have any if you're ever in danger of something that doesn't exist. Top it off my beer. There we go. Wow. <sighs> and they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and the rest shall be glorious. That's different. I kind of like it. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant, uh, re remnant, remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamarath, uh, Hamath, Hamath, and from the isles, islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and to gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth, that flat four-cornered earth. The envy of Ephraim also shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not wax Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hands upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And the Lord sh shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. And with his mighty wind, he shall shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over dry shod. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, who shall be left from Assyria, <clears throat> like as it was to Israel in the day that he came out of the land of Egypt. <clears throat> All right, chapter 22. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah, completely capitalized, every letter, Jehovah, which is unique to uh, King James and this book. Yeah, none of that uh, Yahweh or A or any of those, any of those names, you know, none of that Elohim, or, no, no, Jehovah. Nice and archaic sounding. Yeah. Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, 
with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. That water that you'll never get thirsty again. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Zion. For great is the Holy One in the midst of thee. No drinks there, but I think I earned one. All right, chapter 23. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones. For mine anger is not upon them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of the multitude in the mountains is like as of a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the hosts of the battle. Yeah, he loves battles. They came from far, a far country, from the end of heaven. You know where the sky ends and the earth drops off the edge. Yea, the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint. Every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. Then shall be, uh, they shall be amazed ones at, uh, at another. Their faces shall be as flames. That's scary. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel uh, both with wrath and fierce anger. At least that's an honest statement. Cruel. Yeah, if God exists, God is cruel. To lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light because of what's going on in this insignificant speck of dust in infinite space. Yeah, the stars will go dark just because of our shenanigans. Yeah. The sun shall be darkened in her going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. So, you mean the sun and the moon? Are both going to go dark? Which one first, I wonder? Yeah, I love it. And I will punish the world for evil. He's going to do it with evil. Righteous evil. And the wicked for their iniquity... I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay down the haughtiness of the terrible. 
I will make a, a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man uh, even a man than the golden wages of Ophir. Uh, Ophir. O-P-H-I-R. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. And they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his land. Every one that is proud, Everyone shall wait, everyone that is proud shall be thrust through, yea, and everyone that is joined to the wicked shall fall by the sword, which is the same thing. I just couldn't wait. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. That's nice, Isaiah. He's just reporting the facts that haven't happened yet. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. Behold, I will stir up the Med uh, Medes against them, uh, which shall not regard silver or gold, near, nor shall they delight in it. Their bows shall also dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Hey, you know what I had an earlier drink about? Fruit of the loins. Close enough. It's interesting. Kind of a coffee, molasses kind of a um, taste to that. Double Bach. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither... Well, it still is. I guess it hasn't happened yet, huh? Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and, and satyrs shall dance there. You know those little man-goats? You know, top half's a man, bottom half's a goat. And they play uh, flutes and stuff. Satyrs are going to dance there. Just got to have faith. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. Dragons, too. Are we going to start dancing with unicorns now? And her time is near to come, and her day shall not be prolonged. She's still going on. For I will destroy her speedily. Yea, for I will be merciful unto my people, but the wicked shall perish. Well, chapter 23 was a bust too, but kind of interesting, so fire. Kind of poetic. So, you know. Alright, you know what? Let's do 24. I want to get through first Nephi. <sighs> I, think I, I think Nephi goes into chapter 34 or something. For I, the Lord, will have mercy on Jacob, and <coughs> and I will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. 
yea, from far unto the ends of the earth, and they shall return to their lands of promise, and the house of Israel shall possess them. And the land of the Lord shall be for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives unto whom they were captives and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rent for thy sorrow and for thy fear, and for the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. And, hang on, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little Capricorn. That's right. Yeah. And it shall come to pass in that day <sighs> that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressors ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, the scepters of the rulers. <coughs> they had it coming. Blow me down. He who smote the people in wrath, with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and also the cedars of Lebanon, saying, since thou art laid down, no set, laid down, no feller is come up against us. I guess a feller is a lumberjack. I think I might have just learned something. I hope I hang on to it. A feller, a hey, feller. I ain't a lumberjack, but I'm okay. Hell from beneath is moving. For, for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as us? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy viols is not heard. I guess viol is like a violin. I don't know. A viol? V-I-O-L. Yes. Some kind of musical instrument. Viols is not heard. The worm is spread under tree, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? 
For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and that and shall consider thee, and shall say, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms, and made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, yea, all of them lie in glory, every one of them, in his own house, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and the remnant of those that are slain thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, for I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and son, and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it through the bosom, uh, besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so it, so shall it come to pass. Not too bad. Different. So it shall come to pass, and as I have proposed, so it shall stand, that I will bring the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread them underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burdens depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is proposed upon the whole earth, and this is the land that is stretched out upon all nations. For the Lord of hosts has proposed, and who shall disannul? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? As the year that the king that King Ahaz died was this burden. Rejoice not thou, whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken, for out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. You know, like those ones that I think, what is it, Deuteronomy, or Numbers, that later on in like uh, in Second Kings, uh, Hezekiah had to tear down that brass serpent staff that Moses put up because it was idolatry but it was because of these fiery flying serpents biting people they had to stare at the staff to get better <laughs> and the firstborn of the poor shall feed and the needy shall lie down in safety and I will kill and I will kill thy root with famine 
and he shall slay thy remnant. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestina, art dissolved, for there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in this appointed times. What shall then answer the messengers of the nations? That the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of her, his people shall trust in it? All right. That's chapter 24. I think I'll stop there. 25 looks a little long. So, chipping away at it. Anyhow, uh, that's all Isaiah. <laughs> so, anyway, if I'm making any mistakes, uh, comment. You know, call me on it. It's cool. I I love it. So do it if you want to. Leave comments. Video responses. It's open. Everything's automatic. There's no filtration. That's only for cowards and creators. So... You guys have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is. Peace out.